A bike that's not moving falls over, but when it moves, it stays up on its two wheels. While there have been debates about whether gyroscopic forces are essential for a bike's stability, experiments with counter-rotating wheels have shown that bikes can stay upright even without this force. In this video, I will focus on the two factors that are proven to keep a bike upright, steering geometry and forward momentum. A bicycle is naturally unstable, however, two things change that. First, the steering geometry is carefully designed to stabilize the bike. Second, forward momentum. This momentum, based on the principle of inertia, enables that stabilization. Together, these transform the bicycle into a smoothly balanced vehicle. Steering geometry particularly through what cyclists call trail, is the bike's main stability feature. Look at the front end of any bike. The fork doesn't point straight down, but angles backward. This creates an imaginary steering axis that hits the ground ahead of where the front tire contacts the road. The distance between these two points is called trail. This setup creates a self-correcting system that works in a specific sequence when a bike begins to lean. First, when leaning, the rider's and the biker's center of mass shifts to that side. Second, gravity acts vertically downward, creating what engineers call a moment arm between the center of mass and where the front tire touches the ground. Third, this moment arm generates steering torque, naturally turning the front wheel in the direction of the lean. I calculated the torque on my GitHub and I posted the link in the description. Here is the summary. The bike leans 30 degrees to the left. The level arm is 10 cm back from the steering axis ground intersection to the wheel's contact point. This lever arm is shown as a red arrow pointing rearward. The gravitational force from the bike and rider shifts left. At the contact point, a rightward force shown as a blue arrow resists this lean. This force combined with the lever arm generates a torque. The torque illustrated as a green counterclockwise arrow around the steering axis turns the wheel left to correct the lean. Bike mechanics call these three factors the caster effect, similar to how shopping cart wheels automatically align with the direction you are pushing. When the wheel turns into the lean, it creates a curved path. This curve generates a centrifugal force that helps push the bike back upright. Bike designers carefully adjust the trail too little makes the bike feel twitch and unstable, while too much makes steering feel sluggish. Take away the trail, however, the bike becomes nearly impossible to ride, even at high speeds. Forward momentum is the second key factor. The weight of both rider and bike moving forward resists tipping over through basic physics. Objects in motion tend to stay in motion. This gives enough time for the steering geometry to work its magic. Once you reach about 5 mph, steering corrections happen almost automatically. Below this speed, you will notice wobbling as momentum decreases. Come to a complete stop, and no amount of clever geometry can prevent a fall without the rider's balance. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.